Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're doing a, uh, this is this is a pretty good size hoard. Uh, I'd say this is a level five. You know, some years ago, uh, there was a trigger, a fiance that had uh, passed suddenly and unexpectedly. And really at that point, our client's uh, life had changed and uh, not pretty good. Best Buy 2015 tub of ice cream. Ooh, it's all just maggot carcass. Oh, God. What did we find? Oh, my God. A rabbit. And then we moved the bookcase that the rabbit was on, and then there was a rat underneath it. No. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. Whatever you do, don't speak any Latin. Well, hey everyone, uh, Ed and Carissa, Spalding Beacon, Southwest Florida. We are here in uh, Inglewood. We're doing a, uh, this is this is a pretty good size hoard. Uh, I'd say this is a level five. This job is a um, one of those scenarios where, you know, some years ago uh, there was a trigger. I think it was a fiance. A fiance. A fiance yeah. that had uh, passed suddenly and unexpectedly. And really at that point, uh, you know, our client's uh, life had changed and uh, not pretty good. So he called us up, uh, got a hold of Carissa and said, you know, hey, things uh, mm -hmm. things got away from me. I need some help. So here we are. You know, I came out and, you know, like a lot of porters, it's, it's that, that phone call is very hard to make, you know, and very hard to let somebody in, you know, but I felt a, you know, a connection with her. So she took a deep breath and opened the door for me. Um, at first I thought she wasn't going to open the door because it took her so long well, to it, get there. It only opens about that wide. <laughs> I am always uh, suspicious when it takes them a long time to answer answer the door, but I give them the time. So she opened the door. You know, we walk through, and you know, just uh, it's a, it's a classic, you know, level five. She had a father that passed away several years ago, and the estate went into probate, and it just got settled. So she got a, you know a chunk of change, and she said this is the only way I would ever be able to afford this is to use this money. So she's actually using you know her inheritance to uh, clean out the house. We're happy, happy to be here for her. This is gonna be life-changing for her. I know uh, part of our thing is we're gonna remove the washer and dryer um, and so forth and, and uh, also uh, most of the major appliances. So we have uh, what appears to be a deep freeze. It doesn't feel like it's uh, running. I uh, can't tell, so. Oh, oh boy. Oh, gotta get this baby out of here. Let's take a look at what we got. Parmesan cheese. Oh, that's Blue cheese. Or feta feta cheese. cheese. Feta cheese. Brown feta cheese. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's now feta that's cheese. That's definitely ready. Ah, having trouble finding the dates on it. Ooh, look at that stuff. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Can't find the date on it. Oh, good. Thing. Best Buy. Huh. Oh, 2015. Five or six years. So that's not yeah, too, six years. Now. That's not too bad. No. I have the feeling what's down there when I lift the dead up from that smell. That's a little, uh, that's a little ripe. Of course, what is it? Oh, that's it's fruit. Fruit, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. It's like melting through the bag. Tub of ice cream. Ooh, it's soupy. Oh, chicken livers. Oh, delicious. Everybody loves chicken livers and onions. Yeah, especially at this age. Uh, yeah, it's all not, just, not moving anyway. It's all just maggot carcass. <laughs> Looks like a, yeah, a juice container or milk. Ultra pasteurized. Ooh. Oh, whipping cream. Oh, even better. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, this baby's out. <laughs> um, this one's kind of unique in the sense that um, the lanai and the pool in the back uh, was kind of turned into like a, a lily pond. Right, right. Uh, that's part of it as well. Actually, we're doing from the front property line to the back property line on, on this one. You know, the lily pond, you know, has a little bit of a sad story to it as well, where I think uh, one of the dogs had uh, uh, gotten in there and couldn't get out uh, at one point in time. So, uh, 
Um, but mm -hmm. you know, there's the, we do have two dogs uh, uh, joining yeah. us today. Yeah. Um, they, they they like to uh, let us know they're there with the they're a little, <laughs> little yappy. But, yeah, uh, we have cute. them kenneled so they're safe and out of the way, and she can come and go and and walk them. But we know that they're safe and don't have to worry about them. There's also a cat, but it's a oh yeah, yeah it's so, outside that's right. cat. Yeah, so, an outside cat. Yeah. But, uh, do all the animals look pretty healthy, like men in an okay yeah. state? I, I think yeah. so. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they look healthy uh, as far as, you know, water and fed and, mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And I uh, mm -hmm. you know, seem generally happy. So one of her smaller dogs, or newer dogs, um, that she's gotten has never walked, literally walked on the floor in the home. So she's kind of excited for him to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is a scenario where we're, we're keeping a lot of things. And uh, so... We're, we're kind of going through everything, separating it. So when we can close today, we'll, we'll put all the, the belongings in the garage and kind of lock that up and kind of start back over again tomorrow. We have um, set aside four days. This is just strictly a, a, a D hoard uh, without a, a following a, a deep clean. So we'll... Have we found any uh, live rodents or bugs or anything yet? A rabbit. Wow. You know, and I thought it was her rabbit because she has a rabbit cage in oh, the house. Oh, was it in? Where was it? I didn't know it, that. You, yeah, I it was in it. the bookcase. <laughs> it was in the bookcase and oh. literally just shredded. You know, and, I mean, and it was pretty fresh too. And then we moved the bookcase that the rabbit was on, and then there was a rat underneath it. So I think we Live found or dead? dead. We found oh, two dead know. rats and a rabbit so far, just yeah. in the garage. Come join us. <laughs> yeah, we need some help. <laughs> Where'd you find that, Ricky? Oh, uh, in the garage. Wow. She says he's been dead for eight years, so oh, he, he then that's her doesn't fiance. need it anymore. Yeah. My name's Tara. I used to be in the military. Used to keep things neat, tidy. Actually, I, I just have seen people just volunteer to help them out throughout my life. Not so much as a job. This is my first time doing it for like, for work. Um, but throughout my life, I've always done it just to help people out. You don't mind getting <laughs> your hands dirty, obviously. No. No, I like to work hard, actually. I used to be able to work a lot harder, so I miss those days. Uh, well, I keep like, trying. It looks like you're still keeping up from the looks of it. Oh, thank you. Handling this room all by yourself, that's awesome. Ricky, how you doing, man? Wonderful. What is this, your second, third, fourth horde now? Actually, this is the first one. Really? Yeah, the other ones, they, they had already cleaned them up when I got there. Oh, so. uh, that's fair. What do you think so far? How's it compared to the those bio jobs and stuff like that? Well, let me see. There was, I've already found a dead rabbit and two rats. So I guess that's bio, in it? <laughs> I guess that does count. <laughs> Still like working with your big brother? Uh, depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. That's, that's Asian too. Look at this, this thing's so cool. This is all silver. I'm Andrew Jackson. This guy actually brought me here. This is true. I normally do AC installs. This is my first time actually. And it's kind of it's kind of cool helping the lady out and hopefully she uh get something out of it. I've done this for so long. I've done everything under the sun from mold, fire, water, asbestos, sewer, biohazard, stuff like this. Uh, I've cleaned up fecal matter in hotels after someone took their own life. I've cleaned up a CVS bathroom at like two o'clock in the morning after an older lady couldn't relieve herself in the bathroom properly. To me, it's, it's fun and it's interesting because you don't see this stuff every day, especially when People are like, hey, what do you do? I'm like, all right, let's see. <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie? Yes. Okay, you know the guys who go to a murder scene with white hazmat suits? Yeah. I'm like, that's what I do. <laughs> really? I'm like, yeah. Not for everybody, that's for sure. For sure. Some people just, they can't do it. You know, I don't mind the suits. I've worn respirators for over 15 years and it doesn't bother me at all. Guys, they're experts up in here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shut up, Gizmo. Chef Ramsey would be very upset. I might need a respirator for this one. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. For those watching at home, turn the channel. Yeah. Actually, Tennessee Pride does make a decent sausage when <laughs> it's not like this. This is not for the faint of heart. Watch Ed dive in like I'm an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> Judges? I can't even grab it. <laughs> it's a 10. It's a 10. Oh, yeah. And the Russian judge gave him a six. What the heck? Yeah, that's right up there was one of the worst uh, smells I've experienced. It's up there. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think I have one worse than this, and but this is um, this is by far something to definitely brag about. 
<laughs> for sure. How much would you pay me to stick a hose in there and try to siphon it out? <laughs> How much? <laughs> Oh God! Come back in about a week and watch the vegetation that grows here. <laughs> It'll be massive. It's gonna be nuclear, dude. <laughs> oh, there Stop he is. Out, Evan. Ed, you're having too much fun. I don't want the lid popping open before we get yeah, there. I hear you. What do you got there? I want to lay down on top and like like model. <laughs> oh, over there. Yeah, I was trying to, I was oh. going to pick it up, but I guess it was an egg that was been sitting there for a couple of years or whatever. It's like fossilized. So uh, here we are um, in Inglewood, wrapping up our first day here on a uh, level five hoard, and uh, we're on our second dumpster, probably by one o'clock. There's always a few items that we're you know in search of. So uh, in this particular one, we're looking for a set of keys. Chris and I've been in the room, the the living room where they were they were maybe last uh, seen. Uh, but you know the the interesting part about those keys though is uh, as Chris was talking with his client. Um, she has a uh, outside storage unit and the more we assess the whole scenario and there's a shed out back um, So what we're gonna do is we're you know part of our work order and, and bid was to uh, clear out the uh, storage unit Which is like 110 bucks a month or something like yeah. that it's been paying yeah. for years the items that are in there We're, we're gonna make room and be able to put in her uh, shed or, and we're, we're gonna go through them and hopefully we'll get rid of some but uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I just like that as a service to offer because that hundred and ten dollars a month is you know um, yeah giving every month for, you know, maybe for years, uh, you know, in that sense. Yeah, and she already said it's been years since she's, you know, even been to the storage. And I asked her, if, you know, what was in it. She goes, I only vaguely remember. <laughs> maybe the keys are in it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think one of the interesting things about this word uh, too is words tend to have a very, somewhat of a, a consistent type of odor uh, to them. This one, not so much. Um, really, really just isn't uh, present other than in, inside the uh, that deep freeze. <laughs> that, that, freeze that was, was a level, yeah. level 50 or something yeah. like that. I, <laughs> I had a hard time with that one. Room. I've been doing pretty good about not gagging for a while now. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we, we lost one guy to gagging. Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't lose him, but anyway, he, <laughs> oh, thank it, God. it took him to the edge. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, we're finding yeah. some, you know, uh, rat droppings and stuff and, and, you know, a couple signs of insects, but... Uh, and, you know some ro or, uh, roaches but uh, again not so much so of course we didn't get to the kitchen yet uh, so that's uh, yeah you know stay tuned I'm sure that's tomorrow or, or Monday I uh, saw yeah. baby roaches in one of the bedrooms that's oh, the only place okay. I saw I saw a couple of them and they're, they're okay. coming well, from the ceiling and the walls and stuff so I don't oh, know well is that in her room I think so uh, uh, yeah. I think so yeah right. successful day one we'll see you guys tomorrow yeah. all right sounds yep. good Oh, no. We got the hot tub working earlier. What are you doing now? I'm going to try to rinse out some of the, uh, or, or get it ready to rinse out appliances because we're a uh, place coming to pick up all the appliances on Tuesday. So we're going to have uh, five or six uh, major appliances that, uh, and some of them are, you know, as we've seen yesterday, a little, little dirty. So we want to clean that up a little bit before they come. Didn't know she was uh, also a bounty hunter. Yeah, we already found two air guns, two air guns, air guns. Is that an air gun over there in the windowsill? Yeah, that was one of them, yeah. And then there was a, a big one, it was like a pump action. So that, that one's not an actual pistol. No, it's not. You know what the end of that is? I'm trying to think. you're doing a magic trick. <laughs> Keep your eyes on my hands. Debra, good Debra. There it is. I'm gonna reach up. And he did it. <laughs> Is that you think you'll be cursed? Yeah. Look at him, dog. It's freaking like breaking a mirror, man. Yeah. Amityville type shit. What's that movie called? Amityville or whatever? Amityville, Amityville Horror. Horror. There's also a yeah. one about a doll. Yeah, there is. The Annabelle. The Annabelle is a movie. Yeah. She's the most haunted doll in the world, dude. Is this for the dolls to sit on? Probably. <laughs> that are the dogs. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't speak any Latin. Like, don't bring that into the house. <laughs> that is horrific. It's all ceramic, though. That is. That's probably. I've seen a lot of dolls on these jobs. And that's probably the most unsettling one I've seen. Yeah, it is, dude. Oh. 
Oh, what a sweet little. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's so unsettling. I'm like, get you, get you, go. <laughs> no way, yarn? In this house? First time ever. Found yarn? Surprised. That's rare. You know that was rare. No. Did you use this uh, hot wild boar back in the day? Wild pig? Is that what for? Uh huh. Bye, bye, bye. Here we are, day two. We're just a little more than uh, halfway through day two. It's the first opportunity to get a little break and uh, kind of tell you guys a little bit about uh, the progress that we've made, which is good. We've got the lanai and the backyard done and the shed and the garage is looking pretty good. This is our second full day here and, uh, you know, our clients, uh, she's tired. Uh, tired and a little grumpy, um, you know. Seeing a lot of a lot of things go out is starting to to wear on her um, a little bit. So we had to have a little, you know, mid afternoon uh, huddle here to you know, refresh everybody's uh, objective. As you know, everybody is anxious, you know, to get her cleaned up and get the things out and restore her home for her. Constantly reminding everybody that you know these are still her personal things, and you know, you might think a. A book about yarn is not important, but you know, it was obviously to her very important. So I'll keep you posted. You know, we've got a few more hours uh, left today and we'll do a wrap up here in a little bit. Oh, uh, two of them. That's badass, kind of. Dolls, the wicker. <laughs> Did you spend much time looking at yarn before this? Or? No, but I'm just saying I'll what never say it. Ever, so, how much uh, stuff does she have in her storage? You no, know, not that much. Probably three quarter empty. It's just a shame. And it was uh, about $112 a month for years uh, uh. For, for this. I'm gonna go get her. Uh, we're all closed out. We had to drill the lock out. That was interesting because we lost the key. So, uh, we drilled the lock out and. Uh, Closed out her account, and uh, the storage is uh, so now $112 back to the client every month from here out. Isn't that cool? An elephant? Yeah, handle. But it's like a pewter mug. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You want it? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Just having some some issues with uh, the debris that's in here. There's no circulation, and uh, there's been a couple of rabbits in here. Uh, we had a possum underneath the uh, table. <laughs> so it's real wildlife. <laughs> okra. I hardly know ya. <laughs> pickled okra. Been pickled for years. That's a mystery. Let's see what's up here. There's some stuff up here, Evan. Uh oh. Uh oh. Has anybody seen Ricky? Right here. Can I hand you a couple things? Spider Man 2. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking it's something I would have wanted about 15 years ago. Yeah. The walkie talkies. Oh, I had those. Right so arm is actually can, in the. I can't can, say I do. If we can talk to you as you're driving down the road or something. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> My handy dandy Spider Man walkie talkie. Careful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? Was that an elf? It is. it is! Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. I know, I was just gonna say. Look at that guy. We got Alf on the shelf. Alf on the shelf. Alf on the shelf. Hey, we're having some fun with the toys up here. Uh -oh. A little too much fun. <laughs> Look at each star. Darth Maul. Star Wars, uh, something or another there. Darth, Darth Maul, Maul resin figure. Wow, dude. Oh, wow. Like, where did they get all this stuff from? Is that Jerry? <laughs> oh, geez, anybody know who this is? It's Jerry missing an eye. <laughs> Yeah, that's the dinosaur. Oh! What's his name? Uh, Dino! Dino! Dino. Yeah. Dino. So all of our viewers, <laughs> help us! <laughs> we don't know who this is! <laughs> He's so cute and he looks so yeah. familiar. It's like, oh, I know who this is. Aww. I think Evan should get the video trophy of the day. Aww. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's old school. Oh, it's kind of heavy too. Yeah. All right. Looks like more fabric. Oh, shirts. Old shirts. And if you get eaten, <laughs> you see his legs just disappear. Oh boy. Who is this guy? That's uh, that's the monkey from like Big Fat Liar. Is that right? I think so. I've seen him in a movie for sure. Yeah. We need more help from our viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this? An American, American Tale. Tale. Yeah, Tale. that's Bible. Oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Breaker wow. one nine. All right. Is that like a radio? It's a CB radio. That's oh. where you say breaker one nine. 
Was that like a yeah. Hot Wheels? Yeah, look. Oh, oh yeah. That's why there's uh, look, guys. a remote control or uh, Oh, no way. Yeah. Is that what it is or yeah. is it a, a disc player? No, it's got all the parts to it. Oh, okay. To this little racetrack. Wow. All together, the old school. See, we had cool toys growing up. <laughs> Yeah, now we just cool. give kids an iPad. Yeah, I like know. Oh, yes. This is from, yeah. you know. Late 70s. Late 70s. Yeah, at least, huh? All right, everyone. Uh, Ed and Chris is Sporting Decon Southwest Florida. We are back. So this is the end of day two on a on a four-day horde project. I think the project's going pretty well. We we did, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we got a lot of the outside uh, uh, done today. I mean, other than we got some finishing touches we'll need to do. But, uh, but you know, this this one is uh, has been a little, a little difficult. I'll let Chris at talk about it in the sense of uh, homeowner is very engaged uh, with us so and very involved it's a little overwhelming there's like six people you know in her in her space and you know she lives here alone with her two dogs and um, you know we're touching all of her stuff she's invested a, a lot of money in some of this stuff so you know it's kind of hard to see it go but you know she she was ready so she's she's been very you know like Ed said engaging today just before lunch was was it was a tough one she literally just said I am very frustrated for me to hear that it's like oh it's like I'm not doing my job you know because mm -hmm. I try to relieve that oh well, you know it, it, it's it's really difficult it, you know we were given you know a number of things to to look out for and that list was you know probably a handful of items and you know and, and in, in all reality there's you know 50 mm -hmm. Uh, 50 things on that list, but nobody knows yeah. what they are. So yeah, um, and and she doesn't know either until you know until it pops in her head or she sees something that reminds her of something. And we found a found a lot of old uh, toys and trophies and things in the attic. So tried to wrap up with a little bit of fun here today with the crew. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, she was enjoying it too. Yeah, she was. Seeing us have a good time with yeah. it. <laughs> and you know, and and one of the things, and we we talked to Ricky about it is um, I think she really enjoys at times having people there to talk to people in her house that can have a conversation tell a joke uh you know that type of thing so um you know in, in some ways that you know i think she's uh enjoying our presence and, and company and and uh, engaging and then of course the the other side of it is the the roller coaster part i'm gonna make it up to her because tomorrow we're going appliance shopping so oh are you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, so, yeah we got a local dealer <laughs> um that's taking all the old appliances yeah. and uh so we called them back said hey do you have replacement appliances so these guys are heading there tomorrow huh? be safe we'll see you guys monday yeah. Yeah, everybody we'll have a great weekend. We'll see ya. Right. Yeah, what we're doing here today is, uh, so we're in Port Charlotte. Uh, I'm here and uh, Chris is with the other team over in Englewood, uh, still working on uh, that board project. This scenario here is a uh, kind of a clean out slash deep clean. Unfortunate uh, elderly uh, veteran having some some issues. You know, I think we had a number of issues, but uh, that, that's combined with uh, maybe some of the medication and alcohol and things of this nature that uh, turns out that he uh, was relieving himself uh, in many different ways, actually all over the house. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.